Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story will cover how drones are now being used to inspect airplanes. Our next story will talk about how 1,000 people have been saved by drones globally, according to DJI. And finally, we'll discuss how DJI has ended support for the Phantom 4. Also, here are some job listings in the drone industry this week for anyone interested. Dish is looking for a UAV pilot in Orlando, Florida. Swift Roofing LLC is seeking a drone pilot in Detroit, Michigan. Veritas Media is currently hiring a drone operator in Bellingham, Washington, and Yamaha Motor is looking for an unmanned pilot in Napa, California. With that said, let's fly in. We've heard of drone swarms for military purposes, but did you know that they're being used to inspect airplanes and that this approach is proving to be faster and more efficient than traditional methods? Korean Air first demonstrated the capabilities of drone swarms for airplane inspections back in 2021. Since then, the approach has gained momentum with the government of South Korea investing more in the technology and AI trained detection of defects. Drone swarm inspections for planes typically take place inside airplane hangars. Another drone company called Mainblades in the Netherlands has been doing outdoor airplane inspections by drone as well, experimenting with the use of LiDAR sensing to create 3D models of planes for inspection purposes. Our next story goes back three years when DJI launched its drone rescue map to track rescues made by drones throughout the world. Now the map has hit 1,000 people saved in 600 individual rescue incidents. For the purposes of DJI's map, a drone rescue refers to an incident in which drones have found missing people, have brought supplies to trap survivors, or have peered through smoke and darkness to find unconscious victims. A recent rescue recorded on the map involved two hikers in New York State that got lost at night. The local sheriff's office used a thermal drone to find them and help them return to safety. This just goes to show how much drones are helping out in these kinds of situations. And finally, DJI's iconic Phantom 4 drone has reached the end of service support, officially concluded on July 15th, 2023. As a result, the company will no longer be providing assistance for support requests, product inquiries, or maintenance concerns regarding the Phantom 4. Although the news doesn't come as a surprise, considering that the Phantom 4 was released in early 2016 and production ceased in the summer of 2017, it still marks a somber moment. The Phantom 4 made a significant impact on the consumer drone market upon its release, becoming a favored choice for both novice and experienced commercial drone pilots. With that said, if you still have a desire for the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 Pro V2 is still in production and still being supported. And before we wrap up, here's a final reminder to submit your best drony photos and videos this month for a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card. We've already received some great submissions. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think about drones inspecting planes? And how about drones helping to rescue people? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.